Hey all, my name is Paul Borowski and I am the owner of Quality Business Plan. I am also an MBA business plan writer for Austin, Texas area entrepreneurs. I am not in Austin, Texas, but I do write business plans for Austin, Texas entrepreneurs, as well as entrepreneurs throughout the US and heck even around the world. So the purpose of this video is to give you all a couple of tips and tricks as to what y'all should take, take a look at for a business plan, strategic plan, or what you can use some tips and tricks for starting or running your business. Uh, so the way the video is gonna work out is first and foremost, gonna go ahead and give you a little bit of background about me, who I am, what I do, and why I do it. From that point in time, we're then going to dive into a couple tips and tricks for writing a strategic plan slash business plan, the process of it, and so on and so forth. All right, so without further ado, let's go ahead and zip through this little handy dandy PowerPoint presentation that I've got concocted and designed for your listening and viewing pleasure. All right, as promised, a little bit about me. Again, Paul Borowski, MBA, owner of Quality Business Plan. I do write business plans for entrepreneurs in the Austin, Texas area. I am not there, but I do write plans for the business um, business owners. All right, so again, Paul Borowski, and I am a professional writer, specifically a business plan writer. So if y'all do need some help writing a business plan, pick up the phone, call me, send me a text, send me an email. I'd love to do it. I am a published author, love writing books. I, and a lot of my books are written about, guess what? Business plan writing. And then finally, adjunct professor in business and finance. So my love of teaching is aligned with my love of writing business plans and financial models. All right, so as promised, again, let's go ahead and talk about a couple tips and tricks for writing a business plan. So when you're writing a business plan and a strategic plan, or actually when you're starting a business, most people, well, most people, if they need funding, they're gonna go for a business plan. So business plan, what that's gonna do is gonna describe what you're gonna do, how you're gonna do it, where you're gonna do it, why you're gonna do it, when you're gonna do it, how much money you need to do it, how much money you need in order to do it, and what are gonna be the financial results of you implementing that plan. And a lot of business owners, they stop there. You've described your car, you described your Ferrari, you described your Lamborghini, and then nothing else. The second part of planning before you start a business or an expansion is your strategic plan. Now the strategic plan, it's not gonna be required for your funding and it's not really gonna be required by your landlord. However, it is a crucial document that business owners should have in order to ensure success. For the simple fact that you've got your car, but now you need to know where you're going and how are you going to know where you're going and you also need a destination. So you need your car, which is your business plan, but you also need the destination. And inside the strategic plan, your destination is going to be where you wanna be in five years or three years. So once you identify where you're gonna to wanna to be the end or, or the, the end of your um, plan, you know, once you identify where you wanna be in five years, then in your strategic plan, you, you do need to make some benchmarks as to you know make sure that you are, are going in the right direction. So what I do with my strategic planning is I'll sit down with my clients and we'll identify where they wanna be in five years. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we're gonna come up with benchmarks for the three year point, for the one year point, for the six month point, for the one month point. And once we make all those, uh, all those benchmarks as to where you want to be in order to attain your vision, we then go back and we make sure that there is alignment, that your one month business um, your benchmarks align with your six month benchmarks, that align with your one year benchmarks, that align with your three year benchmarks, that align with your five year benchmarks. So with the business plan, that's your Ferrari, but the strategic plan, that, that is a missing component a lot of your competitors don't have, a lot of startup businesses don't have, and that's your roadmap to success because you, you gotta know where you're gonna go. Just because you start in the business, you, you don't hope and pray that it's gonna be successful, plan for it, and that's where the strategic planning comes in. All right, so with that said, let's go ahead and wrap it up, sum it up, call it a day. So in summary, when you are starting a business or expanding a business, most business owners, they're gonna, they're gonna go ahead and write up a business plan. Um, however, that is only half of the pie. If you really want the complete pie, make sure to include a strategic plan in your business plan writing um, process because you, like I said, your, your business plans could be describing what you're gonna do and how you're gonna do it, but that strategic plan is your roadmap to success. Make sure you have both and um, to increase your likelihood of success. 
And then finally, um, when you're writing a business plan or if you need a business plan or if you need a strategic plan, make sure to work with a professional business plan writer or a strategic plan writer. Um, so if you need a business plan or strategic plan, uh, check out my website, qualitybusinessplan.com or my website that is uh, designed for Austin area business owners, which is right here. And then finally, if you, um, you, you want to have a conversation about strategic plans, business plans, uh, pick up the phone, give me a call, send me a text, send me an email. All right. Hopefully this video was helpful. As always, go out, make a little bit of money and have a great day. Thank you.